Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at the 25th Anniversary 10 Dueling Heroes. We've got a case to open, so let's get into it. Uh, before, before we get started, be sure to subscribe to the channel, hit that like button, and leave a comment if you like the videos. Uh, we appreciate all the support on the channel. So, you get a 10, you get 3 Mega Packs, and you get a promo. And there's a lot of reprints in here from the sets uh, for the year overall. So... Um, you pay a little bit for, obviously, for the promo, and you're paying a little bit for the tin uh, when it comes down to it. Uh, I recently just uh, got rid of a bunch of the old tins that I had. I packed them full of bulk commons to uh, get rid of them. So our first promo is Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon. We got a quarter century secret rare here. But I recently just got rid of a bunch of these. Um, that I had. I put a bunch of bulk in them. They hold about 500 commons in them. So I had filled them up and then just sold off a bunch of my bulk commons that I had. So in anticipation of getting a bunch of these here. So we got good looking promo. Obviously you get the reprints. There's a lot of much needed reprints here in this set. Um, and obviously the tins are pretty good for storage. I've used them for that plenty of times, but they do take up space when all said and done. So lots of needed reprints. Um, Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon has one of the best ghost rares in my opinion, but we'll see what we get and uh, see if any of our uh, good cards that we've been holding on to that we didn't sell uh, in the past uh, get killed by reprints here. Um, I know there's a couple in here that are gonna take us out. So we'll go through. We won't pull every card or won't look at every card in detail. Uh, but we got S-Force Retroactive as a rare. We got Freki the Runic Fanes. Maple Maiden is our first Ultra. Therian Reaper Foom as an Ultra. Welcome Labyrinth as a secret rare. And then Therian Lily Boria as a secret rare, prismatic secret rares. And then Branded Expulsion pulls us off there. 18 cards a pack. Pretty sure I have a copy of Welcome Labyrinth from its original print, but I don't think it was too pricey on me. I don't think I'm getting killed. Cucumber Horse. Popular one, Jim Knight. We got Preda Plant here. We've got Donnell. We got Endless Engine. We got Therian Bull Ain. Scareclaw Arrival as an Ultra. We got Simorg Bird of Perfection. We got a reprint of Hugin as well. And then Therian King Regulus. That's a big reprint that was probably needed. And then Libromancer Firestarter and a couple others just fan them out there. It's definitely a reprint of Fenrir in here as well. I don't have a copy, so got Kuklok, Melfi's, Sonatus. Oh, we got Branded in Central Dogmatica. We got Soul Scissors. Ice Jade Cosmoclore, Runic Destruction, Runic Tip is a big prismatic as well, and then Dinomorphia Rex Term. So obviously we got all of these um, Labyrinth reprints. We've got a lot of Runic reprints. Um, tier Laments are getting reprinted somewhat. Just kind of big, probably necessary reprints in terms of taking down some big value of cards, but uh, if you were holding on to them and you didn't sell them, like I'd obviously, um, I know that there's a few in here that I know I'm probably going to get burned on, uh, then, well, too late for us. All right, what do we got this time? We got a Black Rose Dragon. I think I've got plenty of these from Hidden Arsenal. But, like I said, if I were to... To purchase, I think a lot of these cards were needed. A lot of the reprints were needed, especially in lower rarities. 
but take a good look there. Probably necessary and needed to bring some of the prices down on them. Uh, collection wise, you know, I don't know if I would necessarily buy the tins. The tins are, you know, they're there. You get them, they are what they are. Um, but if you need the cards, you need the prints, singles are probably the way to go, obviously. Um, brings a lot of price value down. We got Baku, Black Feather Whirlwind. All right. We got Munin. We got Exosister Armament. Lots of Exosister reprints. Cashier Preparations. Maple Maiden. That's again another copy. We got Bishul Saronir. And then Muckraker from the Underworld as our two secrets in this pack. Let's see if I can readjust my light. Because again, you pay, you're paying for the promo, you're paying for the tin value, the value of the actual metal tin that everything comes in. We got Stove Torby, Double Dust Tornado Twins, Blackwing Twins Shadow, DD Griffin. We got Bufo Glicula, Scarecall Sclash. We got Clear New World. Soul Scissors again. We got Reaper Fume, Reaper Fum, who knows, Scareclaw Rival. We got Red Eyes Zombie Dragon Lord and Bestial Magnamut. That's a pretty good, uh, pretty good prismatic secret rare there. It's a couple dollar card. And Firestarter. Let's see if we just get anything. Always got to scan in case we get an error pack. You know, you know how it is. So far, I don't think don't think I've gotten burned yet. None of these are are ones that I'm like, oh yes, I have a copy of that from its original print. This card has seen better days. Came straight out of the pack like that. <laughs> okay, it's just a common though. Uh, damage and shipping will go with that. Or sorry, the radiation. But I, I literally had just gotten rid of about, I, I sold, I put it, listed it. We got Bird of Perfection again. We got Naturia Blessing. We got King Regulus. Always a good card. We got Starving Venom, blah, 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 Starving Venom, Predator Power, Fusion Dragon. And then check through nothing, nothing there. Um, I had listed it at 3,000 cards of bulk commons with the tins, um, but each tin I discovered held 500 cards, about 525 commons. I filled up nine of them, um, but I figured I just would list at 3,000 for uh, for margin of error, so to speak, because I didn't want to count after a certain point. And we got number 39, Utopia. So far, we haven't hit any of the really big ones in these promos, but listed it, you know, just trying to cut down on some of the, the bulk commons that I had. Shipping fees, they, that's how they get you. There was a lot of weight there, for sure. But um, it was good to move those, and now we're just... Getting the bulk back up here, and we'll fill these ones up, and whenever we reach that limit again, we'll go. Dang, all of, I'm getting a lot of, look at that. That first card is just hidden, hidden rough. It's not hitting my promos, it's not hitting anything else in the pack, just that first uh, that first card. Almost dropped everything there. Let's see what we got, Amazon Secret Arts. We've got Nightmel, the Dark Bonder. We've got number C32. We got a Blackwing Borea Storm, the Wicked Wind, Scareclaw Rival. We've got like a place out of that now. Lily Borea, and we've got Blackwing Vada. The emblem of wandering. Can build out a Blackwing deck here. 
nothing, nothing major. Must be something with the way they pack these, uh, these mega packs, because like every, every one on some of these is just not looking good. We got Breath of Resurrection, Melfi Wally. We got Golden Whipmaster. Just go to Amazon's deck sitting in here somewhere. We got Endless Engine. We've got Laughing Puffin, Ice Jade Cosmic Lore again. We got Runic Lore, Rite of Aramisir. That's a huge reprint. And also like a $7 card currently. And then Kashtira Unicorn. And then nothing else. I can't get the pack open. Video over. Alright. Oh, hey. You can see what that card was. Stars line, we've got digit jamming, we've got something I couldn't read fast enough, resurrection, dynamorphia brute, we've got Amazon is secret arts, we've got reverse jar, we've got Exosister, Carpe Divum, Dynamorphia, Stealth Bergia, S Force Lake Sewell, we've got Water Enchantress of the Temple. That's probably one I got burned on. Runic Fountain, big reprint. Good card here in the set as well, worth a couple dollars. All right, I want to see one of my one of my promos. I want, I want, I want the Exodia head. I'll take blue, I'll take red eyes. I'll take the red eyes black dragon. That's one of the better promos in the set. Look at that. This is what our, our second official quarter century rare printing of Red Eyes. We're gonna have a have a play set of quarter century rare printings coming up uh, if we keep releasing new prints. Let me know what you guys think about the tin design. Is it cool? It's better than the old battles ones. All right, we have more, more stars aligning. We got Psychic Rover. We got Ku Clock. The Great Noodle Inversion. Got plenty of Ursartic Radiations. Dynamorphia Brute. We got Extra Pendulum. Diplos. Diplodopolis. Wandering Grifflin Rider. We've got Dinomorphia Domain, Exo Sister Ellis, good reprint. We got Lily Boria again, and then nothing left in the pack. A lot of Exo Sister prints, but they didn't print Martha. So, intentional, maybe, maybe not. Thunder Discharge, Ritual Prediction, Biblisp. Gym Knight Lady Rose Diamond, we got Secret Arts, we got Drag Unity Sonatus, we'll just skip right to Mizen, we got Therian Stand Up, we got Spellbound, we got the Agent of Destruction Venus, Skeletal Dragon Felgrand, oh, we got the reprints of Fenrir, that's probably eight, nine dollars currently, big reprint, I didn't have a copy, so I'm not mad, but Big reprint there. That was, I don't know what pin we were sitting at, probably 50 bucks at one point. Some people got burned on that. So if you hadn't sold Fenrir, I feel bad for you. But it happens to us all. It's needed, needed for the, for the meta in the end, but you know, when you hold on to them and you're like, yeah, this is going to be worth, you know, it's a good card for the collection. It looks good. And you're like, yeah, I got a good card. And then you don't sell them. You don't move them. Freezing curses. We got spiritualist. 
Illusion of Chaos, another big reprint. This one I've definitely got a bird on. I've got plenty of copies of this from Battle of Chaos. Exoster Packs. But you're like, dang, I got... Like, you're like, I wish I knew they were getting reprinted. Kind of like could have looked it up to see. You know, keep it, keep an eye on it to, to get these cards out of, out of hand, out of possession in advance. Like, um... Egyptian God Slime, just as an example, and uh, Ancient Chant. Both were in Rage of Ra and have not been reprinted yet. So they're both like only ultra rare prints only. Ancient Chant. We got Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon here as our promo. Both of these cards are still sitting at ultra rares, you know. Egyptian God support. So very, very niche support are still sitting at, you know, 30 plus dollar cards for something that gets you not even a top tier, top tier deck currently in the meta. And Everyone assumed they would be reprinted with the last Legendary Duelist set. You know, because that generally what tends to happen or what tends to follow is that they come out with whatever latest one. But we got delayed with all the reprints from 25th anniversary. So it's like, if you're holding those, gotta move them because there's no way they hold on. But still, they're only reprint or they're only prints. But at the same time, you know, you see these cards like this, and you're like, yeah, I got I got a cashier of Fenrir in the original printing. We got Groza here, but I got it. I'm like, yeah, I got it. And then we got Therian Disc Coliseum here. And then we got Kashira Shangri Ira. Definitely build yourself a good Kashira deck. Get yourself competitive in the meta. But you can definitely hold some cards for too long and get hit by reprints and lose kind of out on the value, especially if they're not collector rares, not starlights. And definitely has happened to me more than more than once on more than one occasion. You know, when I see these tents coming up, I should I should check to, and I should move out things that are going to be in them. And I just never, never think about it because I'm always never selling cards and that's the uh, that's where it comes back to bite you we got black wings on to the dusk we got visa star frost and then we got alvaz the ashen those are our two prismatics here got two libromancer cards back to back oh, they were identical for a second but illusion of chaos there got a pair of those that one kind of hurts not if i was sitting on like fenrir and had actually pulled it that would be that would be a rough one we got alasia we got munin we got morphtronic we got past the cell coverture odd eyes pendulum graph dragon exosister stella and we got Hugin, the runic wings. All right, come on, give me, give me the Exodia head, right? Help me out here. What do we get? We got Blackwing Armor Master. I'm not going to get the Exodia head, am I? Destined not to get it. No dupes yet, though. A few tins in. Halfway through. Oh, man. Did you guys see that earthquake we just had? Unbelievable. 
Can't believe we had an isolated earthquake. Just hit the camera, nothing else. Wouldn't, wouldn't be a video without knocking you guys over. All right. Supreme Mare, we got Therian Cross, Biblisp, Bufolikio, Splash, Reverse Jar, Stand Up. We got Amazonas Augusta, Scatter Fusion, Blackwing Sudri, The Phantom Glimmer. We've got Therian Discoliseum, and Grand Tusk Dragon. Nothing too crazy. Because I should mention, there's 18 cards per pack. Two Prismatics, two Ultras, two Rares, 12 Commons. 54 total cards per 10. So, running you about 18 bucks a 10 currently. So, $40 out. We got S Force Retroactive, Ice J Curse, we got Therian Charge, Dictator of D, Branded Banishment, Runic Tip. We'll take any Runic, Kashtira, and Labyrinth, Exodus, all, all these prints. You know, move them back. Like I said, if you need the cards, you need them for playing, building your deck. Buy them off guys like me. Buy them off people opening the tins who don't need them, who've got the play sets already. Because, listen, paying, paying 18 or 10 for this, you're just paying for the, for the promo. Diplos, Diplodonculus, Dark the Dark Charmer, Gloomy, Libromancer, Fire, Exo Sister, Irene. We got Water Enchantress of the Temple again. And then... A bunch of more comments. Take a water sip. All right. And then we've got Enlightenment Paladin. Really, really striking a big name here. I know we were all hoping to see that Enlightenment Paladin promo. The one, the one person out there who was like, yes, give me that promo. That one's for you. All right, let me do this real quick. Like I said, this is the bulk common storage. Five hundred twenty-five cards. That's what I counted at. Each ten. Sleeved cards. Don't know how many they hold yet. Gonna find that out sometime soon because I'm gonna sell a bunch of rares at some point in the future. Kagero. We got Scarecrow Clash. Gary the Runic Pains. Maybe Jerry. Doll Man Monster. Miss Mansion. Shamisen Samara Sorrow Cat. We got Blackwing Chinook the Snow Blast. Kashtira Unicorn. Arion, a the Labyrinth Servant. That one hits me. I've got copies of that. That now get hit by that reprint. Let's see what 
we got. We got Libromancer Intervention. We got Sea Mare. I got plenty of those. Noodle Inversion. Baku the Beast Ninja. We got Magic Girl. Fair Welcome Labyrinth. We got Mitsu the Insect Ninja. Ice Jade Adjurine. Dragonic Pendulum. Zalamander Catalyzer. Bestial Saronir. Muckraker from the Underworld. All right, wraps us up. Pack three. Ice Jade, Note, Indian Crandall, C Note, Blackwing Federal Whirlwind, Blackwing Twin Shadow, Melfi Penny. We got Libromancer Prevented. We got Branded in Central Dogmatica, Dinomorphia Frenzy, Odd Eyes Pendulum Grab Dragon. We got Blackwing Zonda to Dusk, Rite of Aramisir, I'll take that. Lady Labyrinth of the Silver Castle, that one hurts a little bit. I could, good reprints though, not to mention in the tin, so stand alone. Hurts the value of the existing ones I have, but in terms of the tin, I guess I should take these back. I'm going to say they hurt. They hurt emotionally, emotional damage. Play the meme, but they hurt. We got Firewall Dragon as a promo. They, they hurt the value of the ones that are in existence, but in terms of the value within the tin, it's a good card. So don't wanna, don't wanna conflate the two there by any means. It's emotional damage. For the the prior held ones but it's great in the context of the 10. Emotional damage. But I know they didn't reprint Baron for us you know. Appreciate that. Not hitting my collector rares. Ice Jade again, Ku Clock. We got the Noodle Inversion, Sonatus, Golgonda, Dogmatica Urgy, Soul Scissors. We got Camelot, Realm of Noble Knights and Noble Arms. Therian Reaper Fume or Fum, Tribal Gage Showdown, World Sea Dragon Zelantis. And Therian Irregular. Smiting Storm is just a common. Turns out. Creation Kingfisher up in here. We got Intervention. Biblisp. Cucumber Horse. Black Shadow Squall. Where's the video of the guy who pulled Cucumber Horse and was like hyping it up? It was a great video. Clear New World. Dynamorphia Kintragina. We got Dynamorphia Domain. We've got Runic Golden Droplet. Exosister Martha. Oh no, they reprinted Martha. Pain. Pain. I didn't think they got Martha in the set. I was wrong. Martha is a whole level of pain right there. <clears throat> Stovey Torby, weather forecast. We got Terrors in the Hidden City, Great Noodle Inversion, Scareclaw Sclash, Magigirl. We got Epsilon the Magnet Warrior, Natia Carmelia, Camellia, sorry, Ricka Princess. We got Ultimate Fusion. Then we've got Amazon as Pet Liger King. And Visus Starfrost or Visus Visas Mastercard Starfrost. I did not think they got Martha in this set. I thought they left that untouched. It's a whole nother level of pain. Way 
did we get? We got Salomon Great Blaze Dragon. Xyz monsters always look good in the Starlight foil print though. No dupes yet. Hopefully that remains true on the entirety of the uh, tins that I get no duplicate promos. of the Drudge Dragons, Brilliant Rose, Therian Cross. We've got Cross Keeper, Amazon is Golden Whip Master, Black Shadow Squall. We got Jerry or Gary, Runic Fangs, Therian Duke Yol, Libro Master Fire, he's too cool for school. We got Alba Lenatus, the Abyss Dragon. We got Dynamorphia Therizia, Illusion of Chaos again. Each one of those you pull just hurts a little bit more on the uh, on the prior copies. Ice Jade Erosion. We've got Scareclaw Acro. We've got Dark Contract with Patent License. Alert. Kagero. Decisive Battle of Golgonda. Sunlit Sentinel, Therian Stand Up, Ultimate Fusion, Magicor Warrior of the Relics, Blazing, Blazing Cartesia the Virtuous, Fluendries and the Advent of Adventure, man them birds, right? Master Duel Players, you guys know, them birds. Them birds. Konami hates them birds in Master Duel. We got the Weather Forecast, Intervention, Libromancer Realized, Libromancer Displaced, Melfi Penny, Libromancer Prevented, DDD Headhunt, Noru Ares the Vernal Dragon, Time Thief Power Reserve, Immortal Dragon, we got Skeletal Dragon Felgrand, Kashtira Fenrir, all right, bring our value up a bit. And then wraps this out with a few extra here and there. All right, we got Rainbow Dragon. Get this out of the plastic. I wonder if I should be leaving these sealed in hindsight. We'll see. <laughs> oh well. Ten tens in, we'll wonder if that should be the case. So far, no Exodia, no Dark Magician. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Coming off a bit of sickness here past week, so voice is coming back a bit, but powering through. All right, we got Wallow, founder of the Drug Dragons. We started off like that the last uh, pack. Got the Cucumber Horse again. Mary Melvies. Dinomorphia Brute. Brand Beast. Naturia Mole Cricket, Pit Knight Early, Ice Jade Cosmic Lore, we got Primitive Planet Recophobia, and then we got Blackwing Shamal the Standstorm. And not an error pack, you gotta check. You never know. Tobari the Sky Ninja, we got Ice Shake C Note, Indian Cradle, Melfi Wally, uh, oh, I'm just gonna skip that. Sonatus, Amazon of Secret Arts, we've got Epsilon the Magnet Warrior, number C32, Shark Drake Vice, Runic Destruction, 
Past the Cell, Kovachor, Blue Eyes, Jet Dragon. Okay, this is the one that absolutely hurts the most. From Battle of Chaos, Blue Eyes, Jet Dragon, as a secret rare, was like nearly a $40 card. Blue Eyes, Tyrant Dragon, right back behind it. Blue Eyes, Jet Dragon, that was like a $40 card from Battle of Chaos. And I've got multiple copies of it. It's now worth 20 bucks, maybe. Um, it was at 20 like the other day. So I knew that one was coming up or was in the set now once people started opening it. So it's it's a decent value card in the tin. It's like five bucks, so it's a it's pretty good value within the tin. But yeah, pain, pain, emotional pain. Because it's a, it's a favorite card. It's an absolute great card in terms of, you know, meme. We got Wandering Griffin Rider, Dynamorphia Domain, Lady Labyrinth of the Silver Castle, and the Zombie Vampire. But in terms of, like, enjoying the card, I mean, it's a great design. It's a Blue Eyes card. It's modeled after Kaiba's Jet, obviously. Everything about it. One print existed, and then, and it's a useful card too. So had a lot going for it. But dang. Oh, first duplicate firewall dragon. But the uh, that one print, second print just tanked it. So that's why that one. That one's pain. For sure. I still enjoy, you know, it's obviously any blue eyes card is always, always good to have, but they're like, why'd you gotta do it? Guys gotta do that to me. All right. So this is our 11th. Tin Nova Exodia thus far. So we only have one chance to get the Exodia or Dark Magician promo. So we'll only get maybe one of the two, if if any. Alasia Bonded. We've got Mitsu again. Noru, Runic Flashing Fire. We got Shamisen, Samsara, Sorcerer. Primitive Planet, Recephobia, and we got Majesty Pegasus, the Draco Slayer. I think Age of Overboard is our next set coming up here. Shouldn't be getting hit with any reprints in it. At least based on initial reports. My sources. Smoke Mosquito, Wandering Griffin Rider, Blackwing Boar Storm, Zombie Vampire, Welcome Labyrinth. My sources are two cats though, so take that as you will. All right, Scareclaw Acro, we got Ice Jade Erosion, Ku Clock again, we got Displaced, Cannon Ninja, Dunnell Noble Arms of Light, Munin the Rudink Wings, Ice Jade Curse, we got Scareclaw Arrival, Ice Jade Cosmoclore, Borea, Blackwing Vada, and not in there. All right, last 10. Exodia Dark Magician. We gotta get one of the two. We didn't even get a Elemental Hero either. We're pretty sure there's 16 promos. Right? Mm, I don't know. I feel like there's 16 promos. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I think there's 16 promos and we've gotten 10. Yes! 
Let's go. Last pack magic. Last 10 magic. Thank God. We got the Exodia. That's all we asked. Sorry guys, didn't show it off. Whew. At least we got it. We didn't get Cyber Dragon. Didn't get Dark Magician. So there's still a couple to hunt. But that's a case for you of promos. We got enough copies of Fenrir. We need some more. We need uh, Lubellion. Still in here. Haven't pulled a Lubellion yet. It's sitting at 10 bucks. It would help out. Nightmare. Nightmel. Frecky. We got Overfusion. We got Bird of Perfection. Florendries. Florendries. Bishio Magnumut. Exclusion, Sea Mare, Feather Whirlwind. We got Displaced, Melfi's, Mary Melfi's, Bufo Licula, Branded Regained, Dinomorphia Diplos, Exo Sister Caspatel, Amazonas Augusta. We got Blackwing Vada again, Ride of Aramisir. Hey, it's a couple dollar card, helps out. All right, last pack. Need that Lubellion though, for sure. Ice Jade Erosion, we've got Scareclaw Acro, we got Jim Knight Lady Rose Diamond, Libromancer Realized, we got Fair Welcome Labyrinth, Magic Girl, oops, Munin, we got Sales Ban, it's a good card, Magic War, Warrior of the Relics, Naturia Blessing, we got Ignis Phoenix, the Draco Slayer, and Scareclaw Triheart is our final secret rare. So, a lot of good reprints, a lot of good cards. And then, obviously, all of our promos. We can just flash through a handful of them here. We got Exodia, we got Firewall Dragon, Rainbow Dragon, Salmon Bla Great Blaze Dragon, another Firewall. And then we got Enlightenment Paladin, Blackwing Armor Master, Pendulum Dragon, Red Eyes Black Dragon, Number 39 Utopia, Black Rose Dragon, and Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon. Pretty much everything's a dragon, except for Exodia. So I appreciate you guys stopping in and checking out the video. Be sure to subscribe, leave a like on the video, and we'll catch you in the next one. Take care.